Hello, everyone. Welcome to our class for NECO Physics Practical. I am very sure for those of us that did the Physics Practical for YA, we all came out with flying colors. Okay, for this very class, we're going to be starting with question one. And as you can see on the screen, right before us, this uh, particular video is going to be one of the sections in two series that I'm going to do. For this first one, I'm going to carry out the experiment. And for the other one, I'm going to carry out the manipulation of this experiment. I'm going to show you how to manipulate that. I'm going to share the video on the comment section of this video. Then after that, I'm going to plot the graph on that other video for the manipulation. I'm going to plot the graph, then I'll put it under the comments section for this. Okay, let me uh, remind you that if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please kindly do like, share, and also give us your comments and opinion on what we are doing here. Your comments and opinion will be highly appreciated. Okay, let's get started. From what we have here, the practical is going to be very easy. So let's start with by reading through. You have been provided with a retort stand, clamp and boss, a set of masses, a spiral spring, top watch, split cork, and other necessary apparatus. Using the diagram above as a guide, carry out the following instruction. I think this air physics practical is going to be similar with the one they did in 2021. So the based on the materials they asked to uh, supply. So let's see. Let's read to suspend the spiral spring vertically as shown in the diagram. You can see here. Then suspend a mass hanger on the free end of the spiral spring and add a mass M is equal to 50.0 gram to the hanger. Pull the hanger gently downwards and release to set into vertical oscillation. Determine the time T for 20 complete oscillations. 5. Evaluate the period T of the oscillation. Also evaluate T square. So I'll start from here. Now this is how I normally do my practical. When I want to carry out my practical, I'll write out the parameters on the table. So that will give me an apple, uh, a clear vision of what I want to do. And also to uh, stop me from going back to the question to look at one or two things. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start with this. We have a colon for mass. So I'm going to draw a colon for mass. I'm going to have mass be recorded in grams. Okay. Then we have to set this into 20 complete oscillation. We're going to determine the time t. So I'm going to include the time t for that, and it's going to be measured in seconds. So I have that column there. Then we have to okay determine evaluate the period. Okay, the period is going to be capital letter T, not small letter T. We're going to evaluate the period. So here we determine T, small T, which is there. Then we're going to determine the period T. And this T is going to be equal to small T divided by the number of oscillation, which is 20. So the number of oscillation is 20. This is also going to be in measure in one seconds. It is important that you include all your units. It's very important and heavy. Have a clear and composite table of at least these values that are put in here. Okay, you are also to evaluate t squared. So I'm going to evaluate t squared, and this is going to be in second square. So this is what is required. So all I have to do now is to include the masses on this side. So the first mass is going to be 50.0 gram. I'm going to pause it and include the masses now in order to close not to waste most of our time. Okay, so this is my composite table comprising the mass, 
the time, the period, and the square of the period. And the masses are here. So now we're going to, we are going to use this to carry out the set, set of. Look at the set of here and carry out the set of. So for this, you can see that we have a split code. Even if you don't have a split code, you can use your return stand to do that. So let me carry out the set of. Or perform the experiment, then I'll go back and manipulate the readings and they will, will be plus the graph. Okay, so this is my setup. Now you can see that on the bottom, I have already uh, recreated the tables. So these are the masses here. I included T1 and T2. The reason why I am making it T1 and T2. It's because the oscillation of this screen will be very too fast and will be liable to too many errors. So I have to do it twice and take the average. Once I do it twice and take the average, that will reduce my error level. Okay, so here, yeah, these are my total masses because I'll do a combination of masses all I require is 50 grams if I add 20 grams I get 70 and add another 20 grams I get 90 when I add another 20 grams I get 110 and when I add another 20 grams I get 110 so I have 150 gram mass and 420 gram masses so you can see this is a 20 gram mass and this is a 50 gram mass. so we we'll start the experiment by looking at the board now we're going to do the mass angle. Always do well to include the mass angle that is not too large in the, that is not too large. So I have a mass angle of 10 grams. This will be enough. Okay. So I'm going to include my mass angle. I'll place it like this. Now this is my stop clock. My stop clock, I'll use my stop clock to determine the time for 20 complete oscillations. And the beauty about this is that you can actually take 10 oscillations. And multiply it by the time by two to get 20 oscillations. You can actually do that, but I'm going to do this complete with 20 oscillations. I think I'll do it for the first two, then I'll do it for the last one. I'll do it for all of them, and then I'll pause it and do it for the last one so that you can see that so that we don't waste much of our time. So I'm going to put my 50 gram mass, and I'm going to set this into oscillation. You can depress a bit like this. I like to. Allow yourself to be in consonant with it before you start counting. So I can start counting. It's not compressed that you must just press it, depress it and start counting. So if it's not compressed that you must start counting, maybe you depress. You can allow it to for you to be in rhythm with it before you start counting. Okay, so let me go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So my time is 8.6 seconds. So I'm going to record that as 8.6 seconds here for T1. 8.60 seconds. So two decimal place. So I'm going to take it again for another one. You can see it is still in oscillation, so I don't need to depress it again. I can still count. From here, I have reset my stop point so I can still count from here. Let me start to count. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So this time around, my time is ten point one. So I'm going to record it as ten point one zero. So you see that there's a discrepancy between the two times. So that's the essence of taking the time twice okay now i'm going to add another mass 20 grams to make it 70 grams so i'll set it into oscillation i will like to settle so that i can count alongside this so let's go one two ready go one two three four five One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty.
So I will take it again. It is still oscillating, so I can still take it like that without touching it again. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So this time around, I got eleven point six zero. 11.60 Okay, so I'm going to add another mass Another 20 gram mass This is going to make it 90 grams So I've reset my clock We'll go again Draw a graph 
on this. I'm going to draw a graph based on my manipulated one video, and I'm going to drop that video on the comment section of this video. Okay, so let's uh, see you then until we carry out that one video. All right.